Welcome to week six. This is a brief overview video. We're going to dive right into module six since by now you know how to navigate the Blackboard course. So first we have the module six course content. I cannot stress this enough. You want to make sure you're reviewing these PowerPoint presentation, the key financial ratios that will assist you through this module and others. And then again, if you have not, make sure you review the tutorial videos in the manual for Globus. Next, we have the Chapter 4 Smart Book Activity. Majority of students are doing very well. There are a few that are struggling. Keep in mind, you want to take your time, you want to make sure you're, you're reading the, the text and addressing each question one by one. If you perform this method, you should be fine. You should be scored in the 90s or if, if not 100. So if you are not, make sure you're taking your time. Next, we have a discussion board that will be fo focusing on the tangible and intangible resources for a company. You get to choose that company, and then you're going to tell me what, what is competitive, important resources are tangible and or intangible. You're going to be explaining each resource. Then you're going to review the posts of your peers and, of course, provide a comment on at least two other posts. Next, we have the Chapter 4 quiz. Next, we have the Chapter 5 case study about Twitter Inc. in 2019. Most of you did fantastic in the first case study. If you're wondering why we went from case study 1 to case 5, it's because they don't go in order by the, like the chapters, meaning that case 1 covered chapters 1 through 3. Case 5 covers chapters 1 through 4. So that's why you have case 5 for this week. Next, we have the Module 6 report. Here is where you're going to be identifying the weapons of competition within the camera segment, the weapons of competition within the drone segment. Then also, you're going to be analyzing the two market segments um, that, that you're competing within. What are the key factors for you being a successful competitor within the drone market and within the ca camera segment? And lastly, we have the Globus Simulation Year 8 Decisions. So now let's go ahead and look at the outcome of Year 7. Before we look at the overall standings, I just want to bring to your attention, and, I, and I'm sure I mentioned this at the beginning of the semester, how, of course, we are in competition with one another within our course. As well, there's other universities and colleges that are using the simulation. And as you can see, one of our teams... For the overall game to date score actually cracked the top 100 which is fantastic because keep in mind there's over 2,000 teams in a, over 100 colleges and universities that are using the simulation this semester so for one of our teams to crack the top 100 is amazing and it's be brave they tied at 87 with a, a score of 106 and if you look at the list, now this is just a portion of the list, so you can actually go look at the list as well if you want to. But this is for the week of the 13th through the 19th. But look at some of these names. Clemson University, Arkansas State University, Arkansas Tech University, Ohio University, four-year schools, Mississippi State University. These are four-year schools, and you're competing, you know, with Be Brave sitting at 87 for a 106 score. So... I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, it shows you the level of education you are receiving at Cincinnati State College. You know, definitely when you're competing with these larger universities. So great job, Team B. Uh, you know, keep it up. Hopefully, we have some other teams get in the top 100 throughout the semester. So now let's go ahead and look at the game to date scoreboard. Here's the year seven scoreboard. So we'll start there before we get to game to date. So, Team B. Leading charge, uh, they're at 107. If you were saying, like, well, why is it 106 on the, the other standings? It's 107 here. The top 100, they close, I think it's around 6 p.m., where we close at midnight. So that's the difference. So be brave. They are uh, way to average score 107. Team E is at 97. So same as year six, you know, they were first and second. Team C gained 16 points, now at 90. For the year seven scoreboard, where year six they were dead last, so just goes to show you hard work pays off. So team B and E don't discount team C because they're on the move. Team D, you drop two points, no big deal. You're at 86. That's a respectable score. 
Team A is the one that I'm, I'm a little bit concerned with. With a 76, uh, you know, I'm, at this point in time, I'm really looking for teams to have an 85 or higher. But, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. I, I realize, you know, you're still trying to figure it out. Someone has to be in last place, right? Uh, what I would say to you is make sure that you don't continue to drop lower and lower because then basically you'll be out of the competition. There's no way you're going to catch a team like Team B at 107. So let's go ahead and look at the game-to-date scoreboard. So obviously Team B is still leading at 107. Team E got a bonus point. They're at 99. If you don't know about the bonus points, read the documentation. Team C is at 90. They gained two bonus points. So everyone, you need to really watch out for Team C. Um, it's going to be very interesting what happens year eight to me. Team D at 87. Like I said, a respectable score. And Team A is at 78. Then again, someone has to be at the bottom. Uh, um, and if you're wondering, like, well, how do I give the, you know, or how do you earn the points for the simulation? I don't do like, okay, if you're dead last, you're zero, you know, fourth place, you get 20, 40, 60. No, that's not the way you, you are allocated points. It's based on how you are improving. So team A with the 78, they still could gain the 100 points for their decisions. Now next round for year eight, if they're dropping below, you know, the 78, say they're, they're coming at 74, 72, they're not making any headway. Then no, they're not gonna receive full credit, okay? But you know, to me, someone has to be in last place and that doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing that, you know, I mean, like I said, someone has to be in last place. But as the years go on, it will show me if you actually are making informed decisions or not based on the overall score because the other teams will bury you. You know, so like a team like A, if they if they really are not putting forth the effort, their score will just keep on dropping. Now, I don't believe that's going to be the case. I, I, I think they're going to be fine. If anything, I believe they'll start competing you know, for fourth or third place, or maybe even first, we'll have to see. You know, I just want to make sure everyone knows that, you know, you know, definitely don't be discouraged at this point. We're way too early for that. You know, I'd say in four or five more weeks, if you're not making up ground, then yes, you should be concerned. But all in all, I'm, I'm very pleased. Uh, as always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great week.